Guru found a blessed one, Tathagata and a heart, completely perfect Buddha, great victor Shakyamuni Lord. To you we bow, go for refuge, and offer gifts, so please bless us. Guru found a blessed one, Tathagata and a heart. Completely perfect Buddha, great victor Shakyamuni Lord, to you we bow, go for refuge, and offer gifts, so please bless us. Guru found a blessed one, Tathagata and Arhat, completely perfect Buddha, great victor Shakyamuni Lord. To you we bow, go for refuge, and offer gifts, so please bless us. i 
let joy be fulfilled. And may holy Dharma flourish forevermore. I and all sentient beings until we achieve enlightenment go for refuge to Buddha, Dharma and Sangha. I and all sentient beings until we achieve enlightenment go for refuge to Buddha, Dharma and Sangha. I and all sentient beings until we achieve enlightenment go for refuge to Buddha, Dharma and Sangha. Through the virtues I collect by giving and other perfections, may I become a Buddha for the benefit of all. Through the virtues I collect by giving and other perfections, may I become a Buddha for the benefit of all. Through the virtues I collect by giving and other perfections, May I become a Buddha for the benefit of all. May all sentient beings possess happiness and its causes. May they be free from suffering and its causes. May they never be separated from the happiness that is without suffering. May they abide in equanimity without feeling close to some out of attachment or distant from others out of hatred. From the supreme abode of Patala, born from the green letter Tan, you who liberate my greatest with the light of the letter Tan, O Tara, please come here together with your retinue. Gods and demigods bow their crowns, at your lotus feet, O liberator from all misfortune, to you, Mother Tara, I prostrate. Om, homage to Venerable Arya Tara, homage to Tara, the swift one, the heroine, whose eyes are like a flash of lightning who arose from the opening of a lotus, born from the tears of the protector of the three worlds. Homage to you with a face like a hundred full moons in autumn, gathered together into one, blazing with brilliant light, like a thousand constellations. Homage to you who are bluish gold, your hand perfectly adorned with a lotus flower, who arose from practicing giving moral discipline, patience, effort, concentration and wisdom. Homage to you who surmount the Tathagata's Vishnishas, whose victorious actions are limitless, who are greatly honored by the sons of the conquerors, who have attained every perfection. Homage to you who with the letters to Tara and Hum fill the realms of desire, direction and space. With the seven worlds beneath your feet, you are able to draw all beings to bliss. Homage to you who are worshipped by Indra Agni, Brahma, Vayu and the other mighty gods, and before whom the host of evil spirits Zombies, Melitus, and givers of harm respectfully offer praise. Homage to you who by saying train and pay completely destroy the obstructions of enemies. You suppress with your right leg drawn in and your left extended and blaze with a fierce and raging fire. 
Homage to Ture, extremely fearsome one, who completely destroyed the chief of demons. With a wrathful expression on your lotus face, you vanquish all foes without exception. Homage to you, whose fingers perfectly adorn your heart, with the mudra symbolizing the three precious jewels, adorned with a wheel of all directions, whose radiant light outshines all. Homage to you, whose very joyful and shining crown ornament radiates a garland of light, who with your mirthful laughter of Tutare subdue the demons and worldly gods. Homage to you, who are able to summon all the directional guardians and their retinues, Frowning and shaking with the letter home, you rescue all from their misfortune. Homage to you with a crescent moon adorning your crown, and all your ornaments shining brightly. With Amitabha in your top knot, eternally radiating light. Homage to you who dwell amidst a garland of flames, like the fire at the end of the eon. With your right leg extended and left drawn in, you destroy the hosts of obstructions of those who delight in the Dharma wheel. Homage to you who strike the ground with the palm of your hand and stamp it with your foot. With a wrathful glance and let her home, you set you all seven levels. Homage to you who are happy, virtuous and peaceful, Within the sphere of the peace of Nirvana, fully endowed with Soha and all, you completely destroy heavy evil actions. Homage to you who completely subdue the obstructions of those who delight in the Dharma wheel, rescuing with the array of the ten letter mantra and the knowledge letter womb. Homage to Ture stamping your feet, born from the seed in the aspect of womb, who caused Mount Meru, Mandara and Vindhya, and all the three worlds to shake. Homage to you who hold in your hand, Amun, the lake of the gods, saying Tara twice and the letter pay, you completely dispel all poisons. Homage to you who are honoured by the kings of the hosts of gods and the gods and the kinaras. Through your joyful and shining pervasive armour all conflicts and bad dreams are dispelled. Homage to you whose two eyes like the sun or the full moon radiate a pure clear light. Sing Hara twice and Tutara you dispel the most violent infectious diseases. Homage to you who have the perfect power of pacifying through your blessing of the three witnesses, subduer of the hosts of evil spirits, zombies and givers of harm, O Ture, most excellent and supreme. Om homage to Venerable Arya Tara, Homage to Tara, the swift one, the heroine, whose eyes are like a flash of lightning, who arose from the opening of a lotus, born from the tears of the protector of the three worlds. Homage to you with a face like a hundred full moons in autumn, gathered together into one, blazing with brilliant light, like a thousand constellations. Homage to you who are bluish gold, your hand perfectly adorned with a lotus flower, who arose from practicing giving moral discipline, patience, effort, concentration and wisdom. Homage to you who surmount the Tathagatas with niches, whose victorious actions are limitless, who are greatly honoured by the sons of the conquerors, who have attained every perfection. Homage to you who with the letters to Tara and Hum fill the realms of desire, direction and space. With the seven worlds beneath your feet, 
you are able to draw all beings to bliss. Homage to you who are worshipped by Indra Agni, Brahma, Vayu and the other mighty gods, and before whom the host of evil spirits, zombies, malitus and givers of harm respectfully offer praise. Homage to you who by saying train and pay completely destroy the obstructions of enemies. You suppress with your right leg drawn in and your left hand standard and blaze with a fierce and raging fire. Homage to Ture, extremely fearsome one, who completely destroy the chief of demons. With a wrathful expression on your lotus face, you vanquish all foes without exception. Homage to you whose fingers perfectly adorn your heart with the mudra symbolizing the three precious jewels adorned with the wheel of all directions whose radiant light outshines all. Homage to you whose very joyful and shining crown ornament radiates a garland of light who with your mirthful laughter of Tutare subdue the demons and worldly gods. Homage to you who are able to summon all the directional guardians and their retinues. Frowning and shaking with the letter home, you rescue all from their misfortune. Homage to you with a crescent moon adorning your crown and all your ornaments shining brightly. With Amitabha in your top knot, eternally radiating light. Homage to you who dwell amidst the garland of flames, like the fire at the end of the eon. With your right leg extended and left drawn in, you destroy the hosts of obstructions of those who delight in the Dharma wheel. Homage to you who strike the ground with the palm of your hand, and stamp it with your foot. With a wrathful glance and letter home, you set you all seven levels. Homage to you who are happy, virtuous and peaceful within the sphere of the peace of Nirvana. Fully endowed with Soha and all, you completely destroy heavy evil actions. Homage to you who completely set you the obstructions of those who delight in the Dharma wheel, rescuing with the array of the ten-letter mantra and the knowledge letter womb. Homage to Ture stamping your feet, born from the seed in the aspect of womb, who caused Mount Meru, Mandara and Vindhya and all the three worlds to shake. Homage to you who hold in your hand a moon, the lake of the gods, saying Tara twice and the letter pay, you completely dispel all poisons. Homage to you who are honoured by the kings of the hosts of gods, and the gods and the kinaras, through your joyful and shining pervasive armour, all conflicts and bad dreams are dispelled. Homage to you whose two eyes, like the sun or the full moon, radiate a pure clear light. Saying Hara twice and Tutara, you dispel the most violent infectious diseases. Homage to you who have the perfect power of pacifying through your blessing of the three witnesses, subduer of the hosts of evil spirits, zombies and givers of harm, Ture, most excellent and supreme. Om homage to Venerable Aryatara, homage to Tara, the swift one, the heroine, whose eyes are like a flash of lightning, who arose from the opening of a lotus, born from the tears of the protector of the three worlds. Homage to you with a face like a hundred full moons in autumn, gathered together into one, blazing with brilliant light like a thousand constellations. Homage to you who are bluish gold, your hand perfectly adorned with a lotus flower, 
who arose from practicing giving moral discipline, patience, effort, concentration, and wisdom. Homage to you who surmount the Tathagata's Vishnishas, whose victorious actions are limitless, who are greatly honored by the sons of the conquerors, who have attained every perfection. Homage to you who with the letters to Tara and Hum fill the realms of desire, direction and space. With the seven worlds beneath your feet, you are able to draw all beings to bliss. Homage to you who are worshipped by Indra Agni, Brahma, Vayu and the other mighty gods and before whom the host of evil spirits, zombies, malitus, and givers of harm respectfully offer praise. Homage to you who by saying train and pay completely destroy the obstructions of enemies. You suppress with your right leg drawn in and your left hand standard and blaze with a fierce and raging fire. Homage to Ture, extremely fearsome one, who completely destroyed the chief of demons. With a wrathful expression on your lotus face, you vanquish all foes without exception. Homage to you whose fingers perfectly adorn your heart, with the mudra symbolizing the three precious jewels, adorned with the wheel of all directions, whose radiant light outshines all. Homage to you, whose very joyful and shining crown ornament radiates a garland of light, who with your mirthful laughter of Tutare subdue the demons and worldly gods. Homage to you, who are able to summon all the directional guardians and their retinues, frowning and shaking with the letter home, you rescue all from their misfortune. Homage to you with a crescent moon adorning your crown and all your ornaments shining brightly. With Amitabha in your top knot, eternally radiating light. Homage to you who dwell amidst a garland of flames like the fire at the end of the eon. With your right leg extended and left drawn in, you destroy the hosts of obstructions of those who delight in the Dharma wheel. Homage to you who strike the ground with the palm of your hand and stamp it with your foot. With a wrathful glance and letter home, you subdue all seven levels. Homage to you who are happy, virtuous and peaceful within the sphere of the peace of Nirvana. Fully endowed with Soha and all, you completely destroy heavy evil actions. Homage to you who completely subdue the obstructions of those who delight in the Dharma wheel, rescuing with the array of the ten-letter mantra and the knowledge letter womb. Homage to Ture stamping your feet, born from the seed in the aspect of womb who calls Mount Meru, Mandara and Vindhya and all the three worlds to shake. Homage to you who hold in your hand Amun, the lake of the gods. Saying Tara twice and the letter pay, you completely dispel all poisons. Homage to you who are honoured by the kings of the hosts of gods and the gods and the Kinaras. Through your joyful and shining pervasive armor, all conflicts and bad dreams are dispelled. Homage to you whose two eyes, like the sun or the full moon, radiate a pure clear light. Saying Hara twice and Tutara, you dispel the most violent infectious diseases. Homage to you who have the perfect power of pacifying, through your blessing of the three witnesses, subduer of the hosts of evil spirits, zombies and givers of harm, O Ture, most excellent and supreme. This concludes the praise of the root mantra and the twenty-one homages.
The wise who recite this with strong faith and perfect devotion to their goddess in the evening and upon arising at dawn will be granted complete fearlessness by remembering her. Through the complete purification of all negativity, they will destroy all paths to the lower realms. They will swiftly be granted empowerment by the seventy million conquerors. They will attain greatness here and advance to the ultimate state of Buddhahood. Their violent and great poisons, both stable and moving, and even those that they have eaten or drunk, will be thoroughly eliminated by remembering her. They will be able to prevent all suffering that arises from spirits, diseases or poisons and be able to help others in the same way if they recite these seven times, six times a day. Those who wish for a son will attain a son and those who wish for wealth will attain wealth. All their wishes will be accomplished. No more obstacles will arise for them. And those that have already occurred will all be completely destroyed. To Venerable Aryatara, and all the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas residing in the Ten Directions and the Three Times, I prostrate with sincere faith. I offer you flowers, incense, lights, perfumes, foods, music and other offerings, both actually set out and mentally imagined. Please accept these, O assembly of our ears. I confess all negative actions, the five heinous ashes and the ten non-virtues that I have committed since beginningless time, through my mind being overcome by delusions. I rejoice in the merit of all the virtues, Collected throughout the three times by bodhisattvas, solitary conquerors, hearers, ordinary beings, and others. Please turn the wheel of dharma of the great, small, and common vehicles according to the different wishes and capacities of living beings. For as long as samsara has not ceased, please do not pass beyond sorrow, but with compassion care for all living beings, drowning in the ocean of suffering. May all the merit I have collected become the cause of enlightenment, and before too long may I become the glorious guide of my greatness. Om Bhadra Bhumi Aum, great and powerful golden ground. Om Bhadra Reke Aum, at the edge the iron fence stands around the outer circle. In the centre Mount Meru, the king of mountains, around which are four continents, in the east, Purvavidya, in the south, Jambudipa, in the west, Aparagodaniya, in the north, Uttarakuru, each has two subcontinents, Deha and Vidya, Samara and Abad Samara, Sata and Uttaramantrina, Kurava and Korava, 
The mountain of jewels, the wish-granting tree, the wish-granting cow and the harvest unsung, the precious wheel, the precious jewel, the precious queen, the precious minister, the precious elephant, the precious supreme horse, the precious general and the great treasure of us, the goddess of beauty, the goddess of garlands, the goddess of music, the goddess of dance, the goddess of flowers, the goddess of incense, the goddess of light and the goddess of sand, the sun and the moon, the precious umbrella, the banner of victory in every direction, in the centre all treasures of both gods and men, an excellent collection with nothing left out. I offer this to you, my kind root guru and lineage gurus, to all of you sacred and glorious gurus, and especially to you, assembly of Aritaras, together with your retinues, Please accept with compassion for my great beings, and having accepted out of your great compassion, please bestow your blessings on all sentient beings pervading space. The ground sprinkled with perfume and spread with flowers, the great mountain, fallen sun and moon, seen as a Buddha land and offered thus. May all beings enjoy such pure lands, the sun's sublime object of refuge. Please quickly protect all living beings from fears such as sickness, spirits, obstacles, untimely death, bad dreams, and ill omens. Idam Guru Ratna Mandala Kam Niryatayami O Venerable, Blessed, Compassionate Mother, may I and all countless living beings quickly purify the two obstructions, complete the two collections, and attain the state of complete Buddhahood throughout all our lives before we reach Buddhahood. May we attain the supreme happiness of humans and gods, and so that we may accomplish the omniscient mind. Please quickly pacify and eliminate all interferences evil spirits, hindrances, epidemics and sickness, as well as the various causes of untimely death, bad dreams, ill omens, the eight fears, and all other forms of danger. May all mundane and supermundane collections of good fortune, happiness, goodness and excellence increase, and may every beneficial purpose, without exception, be effortlessly and spontaneously accomplished. May I strive in my practice of sacred dharma and increase my realizations. May I always accomplish you and behold your sublime face. And may my understanding of emptiness and the precious bodhicitta Increase and grow like a waxing moon. May I be born from a sacred and most beautiful lotus in the excellent joyful mandala of the conqueror. And then may I accomplish the prophecy I receive directly from conqueror Amitabha. O goddess upon whom I have relied in previous lives, Embodiment of the divine actions of all the Buddhas of the three times, bluish green one with one face and two hands. O swift pacifier, mother holding Anupala, may everything be auspicious. O conqueror, mother Tara, whatever your body, retinue, lifespan, and pure land and whatever your supreme and excellent name. May I and all others attain only these. Through the force of my making these praises and requests to you, 
Please pacify all sickness, poverty, misfortune, fighting and quarrelling. Throughout all directions where I and others live. And cause the Dharma and all good fortune to flourish. Om Tare Tu Tare Tu Re Soha 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 Om Tare Tu Tare Tu Re Soha
I'm tired to tell it so. By this virtue, may I quickly become a Yatara and then lead every living being without exception to that ground. Through the virtues I have collected by worshipping the Blessed Mother, may every living being without exception be born in the pure land of bliss. You who, having abandoned all bodily faults, possess the signs and indications, who, having abandoned all verbal faults, possess a heavenly voice, who, having abandoned all mental faults, realize all objects of knowledge. O Lady of blessed, glorious renown, may there be the auspiciousness of your presence. So let the tradition of Jason Kappa the King of the Dharma may flourish. May all obstacles be pacified, and may all favorable conditions abound. Through the two collections of myself and others, gathered throughout the three times, May the doctrine of conqueror Losandrakpa flourish forevermore. Sankapa, crown on a man of the scholars of the land of the snow. You are Buddha Shakyamuni and Vajradhara, the source of all attainments. Avalokiteshvara, the treasury of unobservable compassion. Manjushri, the supreme stainless wisdom. And Vajrapani, the destroyer of the hosts of Maras. O Venerable Guru Buddha, synthesis of all three jewels, with my body, speech, and mind. Respectfully I make requests Please grant your blessings To ripen and liberate myself and others And bestow the common and supreme attainment Sankapa, crown ornament of the scholars of the land of the snows. You are Buddha Shakyamuni and Vajradhara, the songs of all attainments. Avalokiteshvara, the treasury of unobservable compassion. Manjushri, the supreme stainless wisdom, and Vajrapani, the destroyer of the hosts of Maras. O venerable Guru Buddha, 
in the sins of all three Jews, with my body, speech, and mind, respectfully I make requests. Please grant your blessings to ripen and liberate myself and others. Bestow the common and supreme attainment. Sankhapa, crown ornament of the scholars of the land of the snows. You are Buddha Shakyamuni and Vajradhara. The source of all attainments, Avalokiteshvara, the treasury of unobservable compassion, Manjushri, the supreme stainless wisdom, and Vajrapani, the destroyer of the host of Maras. O venerable Guru Buddha, synthesis of all three Jews, with my body, speech, and mind, respectfully I make requests. Please grant your blessing to ripen and liberate myself and others, and bestow the common. Home.